Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading, now general reading. So that being said, it might not resonate with everybody. So it's really important to take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever though you do have any questions and you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancevilletarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so we can go and find those answers that you're searching for. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be mostly appreciated. So, um, we're going to begin here the reading. This reading is very important and it is dedicated to the sign of Taurus. I'm saying dedicate to the sign of Taurus because I have channeled in the energy from your person. Okay, these are messages from your person for the sign of Taurus. These are messages that they would like to tell you. So uh, we're going to begin now. I have four messages for you and I'm going to finish it up with a little uh, power of love with is a James Van Prague. So um, let's begin with your channeled love messages from your person and let's go see what they have to tell you. And once again, this is for the sign of Taurus. So let's flip these over. I have never ending story. I have mending higher power and I have the observer so let's begin with message the first message which is the observer so this is all about a certain perspective of course we're talking about objectivity neutral observation and it's really about a little bit of about a certain observation but from a distance I would even go to say so what your partner wants to tell you as a message here is that sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees that are in your way. Now feelings can get all jumbled up and often you're hearing one thing when your partner's really saying something else. So you know it could be a little bit like an echo of unresolved past experiences that are just dubbed over your conversation. So you know it takes time you need to take a time out before you actually react. This is what they would like you to do because sometimes you're just not really you're not understanding each other and that's all it is and it just becomes a huge blowout. So it's likely that the other person has just no idea on how, you know, his or her words have really affected you. So you need to take a few steps back and lend some understanding to the situation. Uh, you need to have faith. You need to have faith. They want you to have faith in the, into the connection that you both have. Um, you need to have trust that you can come together out of this conflict. You, um, you could take it to higher ground now and you can cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself in others and everything really around you. So, you know, you're going to find things are much more and much better improved sooner than you know when you just start to take a step back and you start to observe a little bit before reacting so you understand the situation better. Uh, we're going to move on now to the following message. So the following message is over here and this is the higher power. Now, it's time to address how much effort you are giving to your relationship. This is, uh, you know, to your relationship with, let's say, you know, spirit. This is all about recognizing that your partnership, okay, right now, should be your number one priority. But this is what they want. They want them to be your number one, number one priority. They don't want, you know, they don't want, you know, the friends or they don't want the family. They want to be there. They're kind of feeling left out in this. So, you know, it's really about the bond. The bond is essential to the growth. The bond is essential to the, uh, to the evolution of the relationship. And this is really about just trying to, you know, tap into that connection that you have. And it's about remaining aware of your true nature, of the nature of you, of your partner, of the connection that you have, the evolving of it. So really what they want to say here is they want to be your number one. They don't want to be number 10 onto your list. They want to feel important. Um, they need to feel more important in your eyes also. Um, I'm going to move over to mending now because we did talk a lot over here. We talked about some fighting. They were talking about fighting. Now we're talking about mending. So um, this is all, of course, about forgiving. It's making amends. It's healing after arguments. So 
you've come to a place where forgiveness is really, really necessary if you want to start moving forward after you have these conflicts within your partnership here. Um, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of hurt, and that's really impacting everything that you do in the relationship. Even if you're not aware of it, that is impacting you. So the energy really needs to be clear. What you have to do to, to bridge this gap is you have to, you know, it's closing your heart is not the answer. Don't do that. Just don't go away and never come back, right, and put some walls up. Um, you need to ask yourself. Now, you, you have the power to heal this wound. You do. So ask yourself, what would love with a capital L do? Only good is going to come of forgiveness and, um, you know, an honest redress. So this is really about trying to mend. When you're done with this conflict over here, you know, that at the moment, whenever you have some conflicts, the story is not always, you know, is not always in from the same perspective. Okay. So you do have some bigger conflicts. Well, let's try and mend it after. Okay. Let's try and find a solution without building up some walls and, you know, continuing this perpetually. And, and let's try whenever it's done, it is done, it is over with. Let's not talk about it again within a week or two weeks. Let's try and put it into the past, learn from it and move on. Because this is looking like it's a never ending story. I have over here the never ending story, which is the last message I want to tell you. And sometimes your heart just enters into a contract with another that results in pain. Not because of abuse or neglect or anything like that. This is shame. It's fear of intimacy. It's low self-esteem. And it's your greatest challenges to success of this relationship. So you need to consider how val valuable this knowledge is. Right now, you have an opportunity for very important healing. You must reflect on the stories that you weave about love, about connection, about abandonment, about rejection, about loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story within your relationship here, you need to forgive yourself and you need to forgive yourself for telling you all those stories of the past. So, you know, you need to have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives and none of them were ever true anyway. So your main message here coming from your partner is, you know what, you need to let go of the past. Whatever was a past, what was not with your partner right now needs to remain in the past. You need to grow in your self-confidence and your self-worth and your self-love. You need to believe into the union that you have and you need to believe that and trust that you can move forward. In order to do that, whenever you do have any conflicts or anything, you need to mend, okay? You need to mend them. You need to find some resolutions to move forward. And your partner doesn't want to be number 10, okay? Your partner wants to be number one or number two. Let's put it that way. They don't want to be all the way down onto the list. They want to be more important for you. They're not feeling like they're taking enough place into your life right now. So um, I'm going to move over now to the, um, to the message of James Van Prague oops, that I have for you. And this is about acceptance. So this is throughout your sojournum on earth, you're going to be presented with many obstacles and lessons that are just going to test you. So, you know, one of the most beautiful parts of life is being unpredictable. Nothing is permanent. Everything is constantly moving and evolving, especially in you and in your life. So you can progress faster spiritually by being open to the ebb and the flows of events and the twists and the turns at your soul companions all together. So... You know, the now is the time to become aware, to become aware and acknowledge that these moments are not stumbling blocks, but they're merely opportunities for you to grow. All those circumstances may seem difficult or even worrisome. You need to look at the bigger picture. You need to live into the present moment and you can easily follow the natural course of life. But don't let the mindset of acceptance distract you from your ability to change the situations that hinder your soul's growth. You are always in charge. Don't ever forget that, okay? So that being said, this does conclude your reading, my dear friends, Taurus, on the channeled messages from your person. I hope that you enjoyed them. I hope that you're going to be able to apply them into your relationship to make it better. I do wish you a fantastic day. Many blessings. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for any following readings and have yourself a blessed day. Thank you for being there.